Yeah, I suppose good morning from the farm. It's a nice, yeah, always a nice morning. way to start. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. We're back out in the field again. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can you hear the birds singing? The birds are singing. The sun is so warm on my face, I can't tell you. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's nice because there's a little lick of breeze. It is really it's remarkably nice. nice right now. It's nice. I didn't think we'd be sat outside for this one. No way in a million years. No. I rescued a lamb this morning from under a hay rack. I thought, oh, no, that's a dead one. No. And lifted it up and he shook himself down and out he ran. I thought, today is a good day. <laughs> yeah? I love oh, it. Oh, no, it's dead. You know the hay racks. I like to put a bit in and yeah. it flipped over in the wind and there he lay. He oh, was like, no. oh, what's all the fuss about? It's nice and dry. And, yeah. <laughs> I was enjoying it under there. It's like crazy, but... Um, no, it's a beautiful morning. The bull's just jumped over the fence. I was going to say, it's quite just unusual. Just before we were sat here, it's, it's like, what's that bull doing in that field? Oh, Jonathan, you naughty boy. It's unusual could, that we yeah. have breakfast before the podcast, <laughs> yeah. but um, we did this morning. And uh, yes. we've got Josh here, which is really exciting. We're going to oh, do a bit of filming after this. So lovely to see Josh. Um, which is really cool. Uh, so as a result, we're sat in the kitchen having breakfast, catching up. And um, then uh -oh. you realise, hang on a minute, Jonathan, what? basically walking past where the cameras are right now, in with the girls again. Yeah. I can hear him in the night as well. He's got a very baritone, well, he's got a high voice. He's got a very a high pitch. one, I thought. But I could hear him. Oh, it might have been Aubrey, but they were, they were having a, you know, a man-to-man -man talk last <laughs> night. Oh, no. I, I saw he was serving... One of my girls over there yesterday, and Hazel, he was following Hazel. Hazel um, is one of my old girls, and so he's right behind Hazel. She's oh. obviously coming on, on heat. Oh, I see. So he's just pushed and pushed and pushed on my lovely fences. Some of my fences aren't lovely, everybody, but some of them are quite good, and he's just pushed and pushed and pushed and flattened the fence and just walked over it as calm as you like. We could see all his hair on the top of the barbed wire. Oh, no. Two strands of barbed wire. It's no problem. You just go off and do what you want. And I then feel like when they want to get through... Yeah, they will go. It doesn't matter what. Because you, you see cows in with electric fences, and yeah. you just look at them and go, think... Uh, it's a deterrent, you know, in their <laughs> eyes. But if their mi mind really wants something, they'll yeah. be able to get through yeah, that. Yeah, that, I mean, I had a Mr Jock and other Angus, and it don't matter. I mean, my gates were sort of got great big dents in where he was trying to put... They just push, push, push. Really? It's like flipping heck. Perhaps, you know, they haven't sort of... But I remember um, Leonardo, Lincoln, Red Bull. I'd take it, take us... Me and Leonardo. Uncle Brian, and I, Brian, all day, and we'd set this gate up so nicely. And you know, we got the post, and I got the hinges, and I said, "I am so fed up. We're tying gates up with string. I want a gate that actually latches, please." Sorry, you. I thought you liked tying gates up with string. I do, <laughs> but sometimes I get really peed off with certain gates that I use a lot. Yeah. And so all it must have took us about four hours fiddling about, you know, raising this and doing that, and then pushing. Oh God. And then the next morning, ball goes in, jumps over the... No. <laughs> so my gate has got this ruddy grate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't believe that. Which I can't gate, believe that. Which that's gate the one, is it? Yeah, that's the one down in near the silage. So I use it a lot. And so we had to replace the gate. And I was so furious with him. It's yeah. like, you miserable git. That is a costly that jump is so miserable but you know that's it he wanted to get with the girls and that was it you have to be really careful and i've got two balls and you know it's been rather a nightmare to be honest with you yeah yeah because i have one here and i've got to get rid of one that's the worst part and i love both of them but i yeah. think jonathan i've got to find him a nice home because when you say get rid of a bull get rid of, so i want another nice person that's got a few Beef shorthorns or wants to is the nicest, kindest. He does push fences over. I'm not selling him very well, really. No, but, yeah, we, um, we better the, cut the start of yes. it. <laughs> the calves are lovely. The length of them and the temperament is a star. Yeah. So um, I've got to find a nice home. I don't want him going in for burgers. I'd like to find a nice home. For yeah. Him. So I'm going to get him tested and then I will advertise him. Okay. So. Very nice. But he's, yeah. a he's a lovely. There's no malice in him at all. 
No, I, I've enjoyed Jonathan's company every, every time I've been around him. He's Aubrey good, is he's slightly different. He's got a bit more spirit and he gets a bit um, spicy at times. You know right. what I mean? A bit, yeah. It's like, yeah, mister, mm. behave yourself. Mm -hmm. But he's young and he's grown so much. You know, I couldn't believe it. You know, yeah, the Angus is an interesting... Filling out, muscling up. Right. He's a good boy. I mean, I can walk over a field, but, you know, you can't trust any bull. But he's got yeah. a little bit of sauciness about him. Not like, you know, because when he had a bad... When Jonathan had a bad foot that one that one time... Yeah. Um, we'd got a, an, an injection for him, and he'd got to have that 90 mil... We'd basically got to have the bottle full, or wow. 90 mil. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get the crush. And Dad said... Just see what happens and let's see if we can do it. So I try and do it nice and gently as I do. But put one lot in. Then I got a, bat, a bucket of food and he had all the injection. I didn't have to put him in the crush or anything. He just laid wow. there. Then he stood up and rubbing him and, you know, doing... Is that quite unusual then for for a bull to be that docile? Or it's what, you, I mean, it's what attracts you to bulls, right? Oh, yeah. Like as I've in got to have you nice want... Quiet. I yeah. want quiet ones. Because then, they, quiet, then yeah. they breed nice, quiet... Yeah. he's just so uh, you know amenable yeah i mean he's just he was doing what is nature he he's at one side of the fence hazel's the other probably flicking her tail at him and <laughs> encouraging her you tail. Know, What's getting the, a bit that's flirty. the cow equivalent of yeah putting some so, makeup on is it yeah and that was it he was like right i'm coming duck yeah <laughs> and that's it he's gone <laughs> But I don't care this morning because the sun's out and <laughs> just have a bit of fun and then I, you've got to come out of there later. Oh. So sorry, Jonathan. How nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so what else has been happening? Um, we have sold a cup. I've sold some heifers this week. And, okay. Um, I've sold another bunch of lambs. Heifers for what? Um, they've gone into the meat market. Okay. Sorry, I need bills paying, so. Yeah. And one we're going to have for us. Okay. Because I like to go to my freezer. I'm very lucky, and I like to have my own meat. Yeah. And what's I've so a steer is a boy version of a heifer, right? I'm getting yeah, that so right. Yeah, so a heifer is so a female. So why did you not get rid of your steers? Um, the steers, I sell as strong stores. Aha. Uh -huh. So they will be having their. We've got the TB test coming up, so um, on the in the middle of October. So then they will go off and someone else will fatten them. Right. But these heifers, that's the most beautiful thing about the deck my little Dexter crosses. They have just had um, grass yeah. and they've had silage. And um, if I go to the orchard or people will say, oh, got a few apples, I will just scatter a few apples down and they've had feed block, uh, a gold block, you know, the whiskey the whiskey block. Whiskey. And um, on the whiskey. that's all they've had, and they looked amazing. Brilliant. So, I mean, I suppose they're the, the things that I ought to be, you know, keeping, really. Yeah. Because they just, they've just they just fattened on the grass, which is Very lovely. natural. So it's very natural, and everybody's now thinking and talking about grass-fed beef, so that's, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to... You're typically, would you say... 80% grass-fed or something. You're pretty grass-fed, but you, you yeah, just supplement. Yeah, the boys, that, all the, the boys that I sell as strong stores, I have um, all sorry, through the summer. Sorry, we've got Stan. He, oh, I've got my... Sorry, it's Stan. He's really... Uh, Stan we introduced Eakin. him in the last yeah. podcast. I mean, he's very eager to uh, come and join us out here. <laughs> yeah. He's making that very well known, <laughs> if you can hear him. Yeah. Um, no, it's nice to be out fatten them on the grass. Yeah. I mean, with the Herefords, you can fatten them on the grass. The most annoying part is that in this country, they've all got to go at 30 months, and it's sometimes not enough. 
And now people want grass-fed so, beef. So, okay, I didn't... So, because of the BSE many years ago, we've had this limit. So, anything... You, and, I mean, we can have things over 30 months, but you have to take it to a, a specialist abattoir that will cut the spinal cord out. Wow. Okay? And then they will cut that out. And then you can have your beast and you can... Every animal on this farm, whichever way it goes, wherever, not unless it dies, will have its um, the brain and it will be um, like... Yeah, they were like, they're all, all the brains and things are tested for BSE now, I believe. Right. Yeah. And so every, anything over 30 months for you trying to sell privately is a bit of an issue because it's just going to cost you that yeah. bit more. It's more money, Roy, because you've got to have the, the, the spinal cut out. Yeah. Is it a lot more to do that? I'm not absolutely sure. I am going yeah. to do some research. Yeah. Because... Um, does, the, does the meat taste any different? Would it be like lamb and mutton or...? No, because it's not I veal, is it? So. No. I don't think so. I think it wouldn't have any, wouldn't be any different at all. No. Not much difference. Well, not if it was ten years old. Yeah. But if it was like three, it'd be absolutely fine. That's the, that was the three and three and a half. That's what people used to do all the time. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And like the Frisians, many years ago, the Frisians, the slower growing ones, you know, um, would take that that amount of time to. What's fatten. the Frisian then? What? Frisian are the the dairy breed, the black and white oh, breed. Oh yeah. Before Holstein, um, lots of people have Holstein crosses now, but before you'd have the Frisian, Frisian, which was a multi-purpose breed. It produced milk, and then if it had male calves, you could oh that's fatten the calves. But they would take till they were three to yeah. finish and fatten there, because they could be really big. Well, this introduces pens. almost perfectly. But you see, if I'm going to start doing grass fed thing, probably on this farm, we ought to think, or I'm going to have to look into, do it go in the organic way. Right. The Why only thing that puts me off going the organic way is, you know, the, the little calves I like to give a little bit of food to and finding people that's, you know, organic food and the cost. That's yeah. the only thing that puts me off. Right. Nothing else. That's the only thing I don't worry so about. So there's some instances with the calves that you want to give them a bit of food to help them. When they're coming off mum, like this time of the year, it's they're not having much milk. And to keep them, you can soon stunt something if you don't give it, you know, if it doesn't have a little bit of uh, food. Right. And so there's I a just have a little bit. So it would be just like the calves, you know, could I buy some rolled oats and, you know, you put some mineral in and make you... Give them a little but you'd bit. then have to find that as an organic feed source, which you might be a bit to, tricky. Yeah, I think it is available, but it's one of the things that I ought to do anyhow because I've not used any. But it's just the uh, the access, and is that or a perhaps we plough our field up, Ruth. <laughs> what? Where's we that have, come from? <laughs> we have a bit. No, but everybody perhaps we ought to have half a field of oats or something. Oh, I see, and that's your feed. Grow, uh, Grow some grain. Get down, as you would Get say. Get ploughing. <laughs> Get ploughing. Well, that would be a great video, Mum. <laughs> I'd, I'd happily support it. But you know, I'd love to see. That's... I'd love to see the farm go organic. If I could, uh, well, I, I think um, it's one of my one of many the things I am I am studying and having a look on and and um, thinking about. But you see, I have the chickens as what well. Do, the what eggs does everyone and... think in the comments about going yeah, organic? Yeah, I mean. It's something that I should be thinking about seriously, especially with the f having the shop and everything. Yeah. Especially with the meat. I mean, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, you know, we don't, we're not worming every every minute of the day or any, but I do worm my animals, but they're not wormed that much. So I think you can do use some, you can do certain things, I believe. Yeah. But I've got to do some fishing. Yeah, yeah. Studying. Well, that sounds Talk good. To people, so that's that's. Well, let me know if I can help in any way, with the yeah, with the old computer just, work, you know, just the, filling you in know, forms. the access to certain things, and so that's on a little bit on the radar. I always I've and been thinking how does about that, it. How does that that process work? Is it you apply? I think it's a long term thing. Right. To it would be quite quick with the sheep because you buy organic rams. You buy organic rams. You can't rams. just buy 
I don't think you, but I'm saying things I don't know anything about, but I think you see, yeah, and then you, uh, the use would never be organic. My use, and say I, this is what I, I better not say too much because I might have it all wrong. And be, people would be cussing me, won't they? But, um, you have to buy an organic ram. Right. And then you would buy an organic bull. Okay. So the cattle would take a lot longer than the sheep. The pigs would be fairly easy, I'd imagine, but I don't know. What about my chickens? <laughs> I don't know about chickens, so I don't know. But Your I'm going to do some research. chickens are about as free range and happy hens as they could be, I I'd don't imagine. think, I don't, don't really, um, I've, apart from putting garlic cloves in the water and stuff, I've not wormed a chicken ever, I don't think. Is that a bad thing? Probably. But I've had chickens now seven or eight years old, so. I, They're doing yeah. all right. Yeah, but I mean, it is nice probably, but you got to, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not into worming chickens. How, how are your chickens? Really good. Oh, they nice. are a bit peed off. I have to give them lots of lettuce and green stuff because they're very, there's not much goodness in the grass. Yeah. And they still have their mashes and things, don't they? They're Sarah's secret suppers that I'm not meant to say anything about, but you know. Sarah's. Little rice treats and, <laughs> but lettuce. Lettuce and cabbage leaves. And I give them a selection pack. So when I go to the market, the boys save me some bits and bobs, lettuce and cabbage leaves and yeah. nice things. And I might get, on a good day, I might get, a, they might chuck me in a couple of corn on the cobs. Wow. So they go in and they, if you could see them, a um, few mouldy old apples and soaked bread, they think they're in heaven. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why they live until seven <laughs> or eight years old. <laughs> and they don't lay some of them. It's like, oh dear. You're meant to cull, I think, but it's, they stay here quite a long time and then they die here normally. Oh dear. That's but not yeah, good. The chickens are quite good. I love the chickens though. Yeah. Really like the chickens. Yeah. But, um, and I really ought to get a few more, but it's just the cost of the food and everything at the minute. And it's like, do I get myself another 15 pullets? <sighs> well, everything's very expensive. Yeah, yeah. So I hate to say it. And I haven't put the price of my eggs up yet, so, but it's going to have to come, I think. I think so. So, anyhow. So, I, uh, this week, yeah. it may surprise you, I went to another farm. Good. Yeah. Nice. And this other farm uh, was very close to me. Nice. And they have a herd of cows. Nice. Or herd of cattle. I, I've not quite, uh, don't, I They've haven't quite worked out. They've got a herd. Yeah, that'll do. And I've got a little video to show you, and you've got to try and tell me what the herd is. You reckon you're going to be able to do it? No, probably not. <laughs> on the spot like this. Got yeah, I know. On. There's some pressure. That'd be really embarrassing. Oh, no. yeah, that's a that's a shower. No, it's not. It's a jersey. Uh, yeah. Here we go. I might have a... I'm uh, going to put you to the test here. Is it a dairy herd? Give us well, a clue. you tell me. you got to tell me. I do like her. Oh, I can't see. Okay, oh, that's better. Here we go. Oh, we've even got nice pipe music as well. Yeah, well, I made Where are the cows, Ru? Sorry, yeah. They're about a mile away. I can only see hedge and grass. Oh, I can hear them. Oh, girls. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Oh. oh. Super. Yeah, they're um, Guernseys. You're kidding. They're Guernsey cows. Yeah, red and white. Look at them. Oh, they got any spare ones? Could we have one? <laughs> we could have a micro dairy now. They look lovely. Oh, is that is that near you? That ground near you, Ruth? <gasps> they look so happy. Oh, sweet. Can you walk? Do you, is there footpaths or things and places yeah. where you can walk? Yeah, you can walk down this track, actually. Oh, amazing. So you can see. Can you buy the milk, then? Well, it's funny you say that, because I bought... Oh, I actually, that, I actually that bought some be... milk off them, and I was, I was meant to bring it out so we can have a try. Oh, Maybe that's I, it. We can have a glass go, of milk I'll go and morning. get it in, a, in our ad break. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which don't exist. Um, no, I'll go grab it in a sec. You're so spot on. I'm well impressed with you. You know why that is? Can I, can I tell everybody? Why, you knew it was a Guernsey? Yeah. Can I tell everybody that I'm not super smart on that? And I would have known probably, but um, you did Cause mention... Because I, I wrote it on the video. No, 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 you <laughs> didn't. No, no, no. No, you didn't. You mentioned these lovely cats. You'd love 
there's a really nice shop and they sell the milk and stuff. And yeah, yeah. And I, I just thought how lovely that was. And you yeah. told me the breed of cow then, sorry, Ru. Oh, I ruined and did it. Did I spoil it for everybody? Because I've just, you know, give the game no. away. No. You think you would have known anyway? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Do because I was interested. But I'm not. How do you did you spot straight away that they were dairy cows? Yes. Right. How did you, you do that? You spot because of the size of them, the shape of them. Right. Okay. And yeah, you can just see. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. I I was in the field with them and I thought, I think she'll get straight away that they're dairy cows. But then I thought, well, how how. I suppose, how would you know that? You just see the, sh the shape of them, really. Yeah. They have real deep bellies and right. um, the size of them. And they 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 just sort of lay their cud in and it's ju they're just beautiful. They are. that It was pretty idyllic down there. And that was at um, Lacey's Farm nice. in South Buckinghamshire. How nice. And they're fourth, fourth generation farmers and they let me come and film, which was really cool. How nice is that? Thank you, Lacey family. Yeah. Because that's lovely. It was really nice and... Uh, well, the the herd's beautiful. So do they, do they supply your your town with milk then? Uh, well, they do they, they pasteurize they, they pasteurize themselves. Oh, so, so it's they... in a bottle like you oh, would buy. Awesome. I do, they I don't see it locally though in Marlow. I haven't Surely seen. Surely they any. go around with the milk floats then. No. They got a few vat. I mean, they're probably doing quite well. I'd imagine. Because a lot of these these um, dairies now are getting vending machines and doing yeah. unpasteurized, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. What do you think of the Guernsey breed? Do you know anything about them? Not too much, to be honest. Yeah. I know they're very, the milk is very rich, like a jersey, very high butter fats, and they're very quiet, lovely creatures. Yeah. Whereas I know a bit more about the jerseys. They're little, little what's it they are. Oh, right. But they're... <laughs> uh, well, it's funny, because I went, um, it, uh, it was Uncle Gid who, who showed me round. It was... Will, who I was speaking to, his uncle, so I shouldn't probably call him Uncle Gid, but that's who I spoke to. And he showed me into the field. How nice. And uh, he was just like, there we go, uh, you know, knock yourself out sort of thing. I'm just walking around them. And I did think, well, I don't actually know these cows very well, but yeah. they were so friendly, very curious. Because the first thing that happens with our lot when you go in there, it's because they're milking cows, Aru. So right. they are used, used to, to lots of human yeah. contact. Mm -hmm. They go up into the milking parlour. Uncle Gid takes them up there or whoever, or they have a person a milking person yeah a dairy man or a dairy girl lots of lots of girls do milking cows now yeah yeah um i used to go around milking cows so yeah but you know so they're used to human contact and come on girls and yeah in we go and stuff whereas mine when you take someone strange like i've got a helper at the minute sean yeah and the first thing they do that is like who's that bloke there <laughs> you know sort of where's he from and even the sheep are like oh. yeah but yeah. yeah, so but probably I didn't take. So a I swear, uh, well, every every couple of Sundays now I'm doing something called calming farming, where I show a nice video with just there's nice. no real voice or anything, just nice music and some nice shots of cows. Um, the only thing I'd probably say is don't, as a result of those videos, then start r running into fields of cows and uh, no, because no, 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 no. you don't know. Yeah, I suppose what, you don't know what no, the cows what, are. What's going on? But yeah, I was pretty. But how lovely to watch a video. It's just so nice anyhow, isn't it, to to sit and... And they'd sit there and cud. Yeah, they. I mean, they were, really, they were really lovely. If you've got a farm, well, wherever, I suppose, probably not in Australia, <laughs> uh, but, you know, somewhere, and you think it might pose an interesting question for Mum, it's then nice. invite me over, yeah. let me come film, and I'll, I'll show nice the footage to Mum. That's good. Yeah, um, they look lovely, the cows as well. I yeah, wonder how much I've milk they produce. I mean, their oh, yield. He, and he told me. Yeah. Um, it sounded like an astronomical amount that, to yeah, me. So many thousand liters. Yeah, it was thousands. Yeah. But but whether that is actually a and lot. And the longevity of the cows. They've been bred for many many years. You know, they've been going for yeah. hundreds of years. Yeah. And um, and I mean, I'm, no disrespect to the whole signs of this this world, but you know, the poor things. They. The, the yields are insane, but the long they the poor darlings they don't last long. Right. I think perhaps some do more than others, and perhaps they are trying to improve those things. But yeah. Um. But people still have herds of just Frisians. Yeah. 
which they're What's lovely. amazing to me about it, I found it really weirdly, given I grew up on a farm, it felt very humbling to be, it's like at the source, you know. Yeah. I drink milk and eat butter and stuff all the time, probably more than I should do. Um, but you're you're there with the cat, you know. It's a product of that. It's it's just amazing to be. Uh, I do I do love that. They're such gentle creatures, aren't they? There. Yeah. They're good. They're, they're nice. re They were really really pretty, um, and yeah, it was really nice to go and see some different cows. I think it was quite cool. Yeah, nice. And I was quite excited to show you see what you. Uh, no, it's nice, and you've you've got a few different breeds as well that have just come in in the last few years, haven't you? Welcome back. <laughs> so do they sell sell that in the local supermarket? That No. No? Um, the local supermarket is Sainsbury's. I haven't seen it in there. No, okay. There's a Marks and Spencer's, because we're a bit posh. I haven't Get seen down. it in there either. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I Isn't think... it a shame that, that something like that, they don't sell it in the... It is a little, yeah. Yeah. Perhaps like, that, hopefully that'll change. So we got Lacey's Family Farm. Fresh, local, pasteurised whole milk. Awesome. I got the whole milk because... We have to have whole milk because there's not a lot of difference between whole and semi-skimmed. And we, us girls need it and you boys need it. Lots and lots of calcium. OK, I'm going to have to come over to you and you can hold the, hold, the, hold the glass. You hold the glass. Thank you. What a sweet little glass. I love this little glass. So they only pasteurise once. OK. But I don't know whether that's a thing or not. I don't know. I think he, he sort of maybe implied that the bigger... Oh, but they're doing all these super filtered 15 yeah, time yeah, things. Sort of so your milk will last an, an, oh, I see. An, a why? crazy amount of time, like 21 days instead of, you know, milk would last ah oh, easily a week. So oh. we make a feature out of this, the taste test. The taste test. Oh, I love milk, so. I mean, we're not grading anything particularly. Oh, it's delicious. It's good, is it? It's beautiful. That is nature's best. Gorgeous. Nice. Eh? Oh, wow, yeah. That is very, very, very good, Gid. And William, and thank Yummy. you. Mm. Gorgeous. That's really good. So I'm good. hoping you get your milk from him every week. Do you know how much work goes into running a dairy herd? Yeah. How much time? Christmas Day, every single day. It's my birthday. I don't care what it is. Twice a day, every day. Yeah. Looking after him milking and you know all the treatment well different treatments getting their feet trimmed and making sure they're all and all the high yielders have to have a bit extra ration and oh my goodness all the ins and outs of running a dairy farm yeah it's and then, fascinating then the the cleanliness has to be so high now you know so stripping them out making sure they're all fit and fine and no mastitis and then carving oh dear yeah. It is, um, that is one big job. Yeah, Dairy. yeah. That, that milk there, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know, I'm hoping you paid a good price for that because that is one of the things, if yeah. people don't, just pay a bit more for your milk, everybody, because the hours and hours and the skill and the patience of those people that, yeah, the dairymen, oh, they're amazing. I used to milk cows and we used to have our own cows many years ago and it was, um, yeah, it's just very hard work. Yeah. Very hard work. Yeah. You know, getting it all ready for spring turnout and grass yeah. and, oh my goodness. Yeah, Littering yeah. Littering and all the work that goes into it, it's crazy. Yeah. And crazy. it's a perspective that we haven't had, I suppose, on the channel before. I uh, mean, it's the most. We don't make, we make videos about uh, yeah, a yeah. beef but herd, really. Yeah, yeah. But literally, to go to a dairy, uh, yeah, I, I've respect well I mean, maybe we, maybe one day we should go together and we can have a little look around yeah, i mean i'm absolutely i went up to roger's place and all 
the technology, it just blew my mind. I mean, oh my goodness. I used to do uh, milking in a breast parlor, which is a simple parlor, a collecting yard. And they used to come in and they used to just get up on a step row, have food in front, and I put the clusters on and all this. So it was very, yeah. it's what thousands of farms had. And now it's all herring, you know, the, the pit in the middle, that they call it a, is it a, anyhow, it doesn't matter. They have a pit in the middle and all the cows are up there and they're, they're in the pit or they have rotary paths or what is happening now is uh, robotic. The wow. Robot, they do it with a robot, which is Nuts. incredible. Yeah, it's just amazing, but mm. it's it's seriously hard work. Yeah. And then you've got all the heifers coming in, so you get your head kicked in. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> well, because they're, really the they're the new ones. Because they're the new ones. And they don't know and what's so going on. so they don't on. know what's going on. I mean, um, so they're basically, they're, most of them are okay, but they can be... Obviously, what are you doing messing about with my udder and yeah. get away from... Well, you know what it's like sometimes when we have heifers calving for the first time. Yeah. Sometimes they won't even let their calf suck. So yeah. you know what it's like just with our beefy ones. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> yeah. it's interesting. But you have kick, bar kick bars and things. and Yeah. You know, but it's interesting at times. And then they sort of get the hang of it and some are better than others. Some take, take a few couple of days and some take... Oh, is that bitch again? Why? <laughs> oh, you know, it can be, um, yeah, oh, challenging. That's so interesting. I, but I we don't it, talk yeah. about the dairy side. No, you got quite. Well, you, you used to do I'm it so a lot. I'm so out of touch with all the. Yeah. But I still love it. I love it when I go, and I sometimes go to Raymond in the village and go, and and I love it. He's in the parlour, and it's all lovely and clean. The bulk tanks scrubbed. Yeah. And oh, it's all just, yeah, but it's, it's. You know, there's no let up. You can't have a bad day. And even if you feel like, you know, you've got the flu or whatever, I mean, you just you just have to get on with it. Yeah. You have to just suck it up and get on. It's amazing. Know? So, but I used to relieve bit milk for people. Which is when they want to go on holiday or something. Or I'd go just a couple of days a week so that they had two days when they could just do what? Do Imagine other you stuff. on the new machines. You wouldn't have a clue what was going on. <laughs> I could still put clusters on, let me tell you. <laughs> I bet. I can still put clusters so on. So what's a cluster? Is that the little four that's thing? That's the machine. That's the little the sucky things that go on to the teat. Right. So, yeah, I could still do that. And when I went to college, I loved it because they had a, the one with a pit. Do they call Oh, I can't. Do you know, I've, my head's gone blank. But, you know, he, they had a, um, about six or eight. No, I think it was about eight cows either side. Ernie the milkman. I went to Hamden Hall. And, oh, my God, cuss, I've never known anything like it. He was bandy as bandy. You could see the whole of Aylesbury through his legs. He was and small, <laughs> swear. He used to wear this white cap. It was just, you know, it, it just, it, you needed to film him, Rue, because he yeah. was just so funny and so entertaining. But he loved his cows, and, and he, he did suffer fools gladly. So you got the... But it was so fun, in, you know, down in the pit. But, oh, how you know, cool is that? It was really good looking after the cows and sorted them out and but there's it's so technical now it's just yeah. mind-blowing and you know trying to sell your milk at the breast price and yeah yeah it's very challenging yeah and um, well i think every uh, i mean not not i don't to know what it's like to, to be in the dairy industry not now to discredit but, I think, it, but i think it's a struggle yeah a real struggle especially over the summer but it's a struggle in oh all, all genres yeah yeah yeah. It's it's tough at the moment. Yeah. Um, well, that's not a nice note to let, leave no, on. No, we're is not it? leaving on that note. <laughs> we're. Uh, well, so you know, we when, just... when I went to get the milk, Mum's off. Obviously, naturally, she can't sit down, so she's, sitting, off, yeah, no, sh okay. she's off. She's um, off. I'm picking mushrooms, aren't you? Yeah. I said, don't eat that. You go. <laughs> yeah. I got me mushroom. I don't know if we're gonna. It's gonna be a good mushroom year. Some years. We've had mushrooms, Ru. I mean, a good I mushroom year. Yeah, literally. All the conditions are right for the mushroom spores, <laughs> and all of a sudden, what? I don't mean these magic mushrooms. This looks lovely. This is gonna. This is a good one. But all of a what sudden, what do you know about magic mushrooms? God, I don't know that thing. <laughs> I could do with a couple at times. Um, but they grow everywhere. And we had one year when people, instead of people just coming through and, you know, asking, saying, yeah, that's fine, they'd be sort of climbing over the fences because of the mushrooms. There was no. fields and fields of mushrooms, field mushrooms. I wow. love mushrooms, so I was well, well happy. Mum was absolutely sick, sight of them. 
how yeah, funny. The... You know who hates mushrooms? Oh, is uh, the guy we're just about to film with. We got oh, Josh. No. We got Josh back uh, <laughs> today. It's a Saturday morning. Oh, it's, it's amazing. So nice. Great to see Josh. I'm so happy you didn't do it yesterday because it was a bit grey and misty yesterday. Yeah. And look at it now. The but sun today is... we've got. Um, well, we've got yeah. Josh. We're gonna after this. We're gonna go and have yeah, a little walk around. Yeah, we're gonna go around the animals and things. That's yeah. Really fun. So we'll make a little video yeah. as well, which will be awesome. I hope but Josh does yeah. not like mushrooms. He don't like the old mushrooms. No. Oh dear. Yeah. So it's, he doesn't uh, know what he's missing, does he? No, clearly. <laughs> well, Mum, it's been. Well, it's been nice to nice to speak. Yeah. And uh, I hope you're all buckling down and getting on with things and chill yeah. up and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, there's a lot to be oh, happy about. Oh my goodness! Get out there and just suck in the air. <laughs> go and hug a tree and hug a yeah, tree. Yeah, go and borrow next door's dog and go and run around the fields and. Oh, Sounds enjoy, nice to me. Just enjoy the nature. It's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're feeling a bit grey and lousy. Come on, get yourself. Go and hug a tree. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> it's good. Nature is a wonderful thing. Thanks, Mum. Love, love to it. everyone, and you take care now. Yeah. Get those crumbles cooked this weekend. <laughs> it's crumble season, is yeah. it? Yeah. Thanks, Mum. All right. Take care. Bye bye now. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Oh. Nice. That, was, that milk was lovely, Ray. Yeah. Absolutely yummy.